Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go for general and love. So thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's jump into this Taurus. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you for the general energy for Taurus. Okay, we get the Knight of Swords coming up. All right, so someone's confrontational. They want to... Um, these are fixed signs. So we got Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus... Uh, Leo somebody wants to intellectualize their viewpoint with you they want to persuade you mentally intellectually about how they're thinking what happened um, they're determined to make you see their viewpoint and hopefully get you on board with what how they see it by way of you know their truth of the matter um, this is a person who knows what they're talking about. They're very smart. They um, can put words together very well. Um, it's just that the Knight of Swords isn't as tactful. You know, he doesn't care about diplomacy and, um, you know, emotions and feelings. Also doesn't, you know, has very little patience for stupidity or um, just ignorance altogether. Also, this person could be coming into you towards, um, this could be you also towards. This person could be coming to you, um, they wanna make some big move, some big grand move towards you, but after them making this big gesture, there's nothing else, it's like, you know, big parade followed by nothing. Like the Knight of Swords doesn't have a plan. They just move, they just act, you know? So maybe somebody wants to come to you like that. Let's see, um, let's clarify the Knight of Swords. Um, King of Swords, wow. Um, so it's like someone wants to, to voice their opinion here and then they want to emotionally withdraw and check out um, and say nothing. This person could be narcissistic altogether. Um, just very cold emotionally. Um, I, I have an idea of what this person wants to say to you, but I want to pull some more cards. Can we get the outcome for the general energy? The two of cups. Okay. I know. Okay. So um, this person could be wanting to say to you, they're trying to get you to get on board with their plan, okay? With um, their agenda. Um, this could be the covert narcissist, the person who comes off very charming, giving, understanding, and then they just turn all of that around on its head and they really show up um, uncaring, ungiving, and just really uh, cold. They also could be the independent uh, person. They have independent ideas. Um, they are um, the eternal bachelor. They really could walk through life alone. They don't care to have long-term romantic connections. Will they have romantic connections? Yes, but long-term traditional maybe not so much um this person if you guys broke up they are saying we just need to come back together they want forgiveness um we just need to heal come back together some sexual healing allow yourself to feel the love between the two of you know the two of us it's just like this person just wants to persuade you to allow them to come back while offering nothing but confrontational words and persuasion this person knows that they're losing you and they have to do something big or say something to get you back to get you back in you know where they want you and that's the general energy let's get the love energy 
the moon card. Okay, so there is separation here. Um, in the separation, somebody has deep feelings, uh, emotions that they have not expressed, repressed, unexpressed, suppressed emotions, because maybe they're two different personalities and you, you guys have trouble trying to marry the two personalities. You know, there always is a mashup, a clash. Um, somebody takes you out of your comfort zone and you take them out of theirs. Uh, there's a lot of secrecy here too. Let's see. Let's clarify love. The emperor, this could be your husband or they could be your child's father or just an older gentleman who has a lot to offer. Um, the emperor here. This is somebody who already has their empire, who's already built nothing into something. Um, they're not going to take kindly to direction. This could be you too, Taurus. Um, this is somebody who's already married. Uh, th th maybe this is why they hold back emotions. Maybe this is why there's suppression or there's also um, separation here. W one more card for the outcome. Um, okay, the king of wands, somebody going after their heart's desire. This could be same sex too here. Uh, somebody's already in a romantic connection and then there's a third party here. Or there was, but now someone's saying, let's just come back together. It doesn't matter. You know, we're in love. Let the, let, let the emotions you feel for me, let them just run free. You know, it's better for us to be together than apart and arguing. It says someone in this connection. The King of Wands could be dealing with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, you have two men around you, some, two very dynamic men. Somebody wants to do right by you or do right in this connection or they, they desire you uh, intensely. Um, it's a very intense connection here. They desire to be the protector, to, to possess you. You have the death card. could be dealing with Scorpio. Um, a relationship is over, or it was over, or, or it's on the brink of ending. Some marriage, some relationship, but somebody wants reconciliation. They want to come back together. They want to heal the severed connection. They feel like you're the one that got away Taurus but this person is already in something maybe with a water sign cancer Pisces Scorpio but they could be telling you that that is ending and they want to reconcile with you or come back to you or be with you or talk to you or it was better with you they want to do something big with you maybe even move in with you the temperance card definitely could be dealing with the sides they want to compromise here come to some happy agreement in terms of um, this connection because wherever they are, they feel discontent, bored, dissatisfied, and they're longing to be somewhere else doing something else. Maybe they, they also are afraid of rejection from you or them from, from you or, or um, maybe they rejected you in the past. They want to revive something here. They haven't, they haven't regret, re regret guilt because they didn't see the blessing that you were in their life and but now they see it with the four cups and they feel like they missed the opportunity and maybe this is why this person is trying to persuade you so heavily to allow them to come back to you even though they're coming up as very very independent no strings attached these two kings together um, always just read as a, uh, just, uh, that's a, I don't know, right there, good luck tying this man down because he's got options on options and he's very intellectual. Um, but it looks like they want to heal a connection with you, Taurus, definitely come back to you. What I'm not seeing is a lot of offers. I'm definitely seeing, you know, the emotions and the wanting and the longing, but I don't see what they're offering you, okay? Um, what does this person want to offer, Taurus? King of coins, you're dealing with 
big daddy energy very nice um it, or it could just be same sex here but they can offer you money protection provision good advice um four of coins they just this is how i know i just i try to be as clear as possible but as soon as you start pulling more cards you get it but you didn't you don't even need to pull more cards for this this person wants things to be back how they used to be the status quo what we used to have i want it back if i used to see you on the weekends i want to see you every weekend if i took you out and you know paraded you around i want the opportunity to be able to do that i want to possess you this card talks about possessions and looking at people as possessions being very domineering dominant trying to dominate the other person um no growth also stagnation i just want it right here i want a stab before pentacles i want a stable connection outside of my connection so yeah that's what your person wants and they want that from you they miss you and they want to persuade you to allow them to come back in your life and if it's good enough for you Taurus, it's good enough for me if this reading resonates for you, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you. Take care.